students now welcome you again in the second part of sample papers for science and technology class 10 embos 2020 examination now let's go to the sample paper of physics uh, uh, in physics you get a total question of 26 marks so number one as usual choose the correct statement there will be three questions of one mark each so these questions you have to refer the end of the chapter and then second part we'll go to the chapter wise questions so we'll let's begin with the reflection and reflection of light so here the important questions are number one what is lateral inversion or the sideways inversion and second question differentiate between real and ampersal image third question what is the normal incidence give its two characters number four who put for the corpus who put for the corpuscular theory of light? Or name three optical phenomena which are explained by this theory. Then again, who put for the wave theory of light? And name three optical phenomena which are explained by this theory. Then state laws of reflection of light, which uh, you have done earlier also in the lower classes also. And then we have the ne next question is state laws of reflection of light that also you have done in class 7 8 also and then we go to next question is you draw the following diagram in your answer book and show the formation of image of the object a b with the help of suitable rays so this is a this is a mirror and the object is between the uh, center of curvature and the focus so now you have to uh, <coughs> center of curvature and the focus and then you have to draw the ray diagram and uh, uh, also you have to show where the image is formed this is a very important question you have to practice this one next part we are going now take down the diagram in your answer book and complete the path of ray this is a This is uh, <clears throat> lens here, the concave lens, and here you have to show the ray diagram. Next question, you have provided a convex mirror, a concave mirror, and a plan mirror. How will you distinguish between them without touching or using any other apparatus? Our next question, differentiate between concave mirror and convex mirror. And then the concave lens and convex lens. Define linear magnification of a spherical mirror and also a spherical lens. And then you have defined the power of a lens, define the focus of a spherical mirror and a lens. You have defined the focus of both spherical mirror and also the focus of a lens. And then I see next question, what do you mean by the lateral displacement or what is the lateral displacement? And then what is refractive index? Write a relation between refractive index and the speed of light. Okay, next question, uh, uh, this is a sum. So here a converging mirror forms a three times magnified virtual image when an object is placed at a distance of 8 cm from it. Then you have calculate the position of the image and the focal length of the mirror. And also, next question, the velocity of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and in glass 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Then you'll find the reflective index of the glass, right? Okay, then... Uh, then we go to number 17, a convex lens, uh, a convex lens, uh, a convex lens produces a real and inverted image, 2.5 times magnified at a distance of 25 centimeter from the lens, calculate the focal length of the lens. Next question, the power of a thin convex lens is plus 3. 0.5d. It is placed in contact with another thin lens such that the combined power is so here plus 1.0d adapter. Then calculate the power 
of second lens and also the focal length of second lens. Okay, next question 19. What do you mean, what do you understand by the term myopic eye? State the two causes of the above defect. How the myopic defect is formed or how the myopia is formed, you have to write the two causes or the two reasons. Okay, then our uh, next question by drawing a diagram explain how myopic eye sees far off objects and how myopic eye is corrected by the use of a lens. You have to draw a neat diagram and explain these two phenomena. Next one is here. What do you understand by the following term? The power of accommodation of the eye, the least distance of distinct vision, road cells of eye and the cone cells of eye. Next question now. What is what do you mean by the press biopia? Uh -uh. Okay, write the two causes of this defect or the two causes of the press biopia, how it is caused. Okay, then a person needs a lens of power minus 4.5D diopter for uh, a correction of her vision. Of her vision, or we can write also his vision. Number one, what kind of defect in vision is she suffering from or he suffering from? Then what is the focal length of the corrective lens? And what is the nature of the corrective lens? Nature means it is a concave lens or convex lens here. Right. Then next question, what is the rainbow? How is a rainbow formed? And which spectral color is on outer arc of a rainbow and inner arc of a rainbow? Okay, next question here. What is scattering of light? And what is scattering of light? And what does uh, scattering of light? And why does sky appear blue? Scattering means the if the rays of light will fall on any particle, it will reflect it. Okay, it will reflect it. Uh, uh, it will reflect it and scatter. Then. Uh, after now electricity will go. What do the insulators, why do the insulators not conduct electricity? We know that insulator, conductor and semiconductor. So here, uh, uh, insulator do not conduct electricity. What is the reason behind that? You have to write down. Then define the following. You have to define all these followings. Number one, current electricity. Second one, define the unit of the charge, that is one coulomb, then electric current, then unit of the current, one ampere, then unit of the potential difference, one volt, electric potential, then potential difference as a whole, then unit of resistance, one ohm, emitter and voltmeter. Then the next one, a charge of 75 coulomb is brought from infinity to a given point in an electric field. When the amount of work done is 12.5 joules. So now here you have to calculate the electric potential at that point. What is the potential here at that point? Then next question. State the relationship between work, charge and potential difference for an electric circuit. And also you have to calculate the potential difference between two terminals of a battery. If 100 joules of work is required to transfer the 20 coulombs of charge from one terminal to oh, from one terminal of a battery to another or to other, then uh, what is electric current? Differentiate between the closed circuit and open circuit. You know, circuit. What is an electric circuit? Oh, I make a pardon. What is an electric circuit? Differentiate between the closed circuit and open circuit. State and explain Ohm's law. And also what is the resistance of a conductor? Write the names of the factors which determine resistance of a conductor. And then again, your next question, what do you mean by or what is resistivity, resistivity of a conductor? And then I make a pardon, what is resistivity of a conductor? Then three resistors. Of the 24 ohm, 12 ohm, and 8 ohm are connected in parallel. Calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Right? Okay. Then we have an electric oven is marked. 
an electric oven is marked so yes yeah, we good an electric oven is marked 1000 watt and 200 volt you see power will be 1000 watt and the potential difference 200 volt then you have to calculate the resistance of the element of the electric oven and the energy consumed by the oven in half an hour in joules and also you have to calculate the time in which it will consume 15 kilowatt of energy is 15 15 kilowatt of energy okay then we have next question the four resistors of 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series calculate the resistance of the circuit then to find the following magnetic field and magnetic field lines state the three characteristics of each now magnetic field you have to write three character and magnetic field lines also you have to write the three characters the next question what is an electromagnet then in the same question you draw a circuit diagram to show how a soft iron piece can be transformed into an electromagnet then next question differentiate between electromagnet and permanent magnet differentiate between electromagnet and permanent magnet and also state the two practical uses of an electromagnet then state the framing left hand thumb rule define the following terms electromagnetic induction and induced current okay then what do you understand by the term electric generator state the principle of an electric motor okay then uh, now here uh, we have next question now next question an electric bulb of resistance 80 ohm draws a current of 0 0.75 ampere find the line a line voltage or potential difference then define electric work and electric power then one watt then differentiate between kilowatt and kilowatt hour then diff, uh, uh, okay an electric heater draws a current of 3.5 ampere at a potential difference of 250 volt calculate the power consumed by four such heaters okay then a torch bulb is rated 2.5 volt and 750 milliampere then you have to calculate its power and its no resistance then the four tube lights of the 40 watt each the power of the each tube light is 40 watt each and the two fans of 100 watt the power of the fan 100 watt each operate on the average eight hours a day and they are operating eight hours in a day and if the energy cost is rupees uh, three three for single kilowatt hour or for one kilowatt uh, kilowatt hour uh, the cost of energy is rupees three if you consume one kilowatt hour we have to pay rupees three then you have to calculate here energy consumed for all these bulbs and fans and you have to calculate again the monthly bill okay next question an electric lamp is marked 25 watts and 220 volt it is used for the 10 hours daily calculate its energy consumed in kilowatt hour per day and also its resistance while glowing then distinguish between the term overloading and short circuiting as usual in domestic circuits okay then why are the coils of electric toasters made of an alloy made of an alloy why are the coils of electric toaster made of an alloy rather than pure metal we have to answer that okay then what is an electric fuse state is two characteristics okay then we have next question there um okay <clears throat> explain the working of uh, explain the working of an electric generator 
I will draw a diagram of an electric generator and then label on it. You have to label on the electric generator horseshoe magnet, armature coil, carbon brushes, slip and slip rings. Then next question state the color of live wire and neutral wire and then earth wire according to international convention. Then why is the household wiring done in parallel? We give at least two reasons. Define earthing and also short circuiting. So up to this much in physics, these are the sample questions. I hope that you prepare the answer very well and appear the exam. If any doubt, you can subscribe this channel and write in the comment box so that I can give you the answer in case you cannot find the answer. Thank you very much once again for listening to me and viewing this sample question paper. Thank you very much once again. Mm -hmm.